Angela Jackson mother has been hit with unimaginable loss over and over again in a very short period of time. Yeah, Luke Snyder sat down with the heartbreaking woman today yeah. whose community is stepping up to help as she fights for justice and tries to pick up the pieces. We haven't had time to grieve for anyone. It's just non-stop trauma. Inside the home of Patricia Curtin, you'll find pictures on the kitchen table and above the fireplace. Each one tells the story of heartbreaking tragedy. I lost my daughter a mile from me this way and my granddaughter a mile from me this way. Today, Curtin wears a shirt that says justice for Zariah. Police say the one-year-old was found dead at a home in Jackson County on December 13th. A trusted friend and babysitter, Donald Flack, is being charged with open murder in Zariah's death. We couldn't help her. She didn't have a voice. Then, just two days after Zariah's funeral, the little girl's mother and Curtin's daughter, Tara Wilson, was killed in a car crash. Just keep thinking, why? This comes after three other family members passed away last year. Curtin says there are no words to describe the pain. Literally, we're drowning emotionally and financially. The community is doing what they can. A GoFundMe has been set up for the family. I don't know the words to tell her. I don't know the things to say to her to try. There's nothing you can say to make it better. So far, about $10,000 have been raised. Curtin says the support is keeping her going. My phone is ringing continuously, not only with bill collectors, but people wanting to help or trying to help. For now, she will rely on counseling and loved ones. There are days that I just want to cover my head up in the bed and not even move, but I can't. I just have to keep going, and I know that that's what they would want, especially for the kids. Here for you in Jackson County, Luke Snyder, 6 News. The suspect in the murder of Zariah is expected to go in front of a judge on February 10th for ways that you can help support the family. We have a link on our Scene on 6 section on WLNS.com. Another community is 